Hi and welcome to Wild Think. Here, we'll be looking at how to get the best out of your SLR camera, telling you how to use the controls, and weaning users off the automatic settings so that you can take even better photos. Single lens reflex cameras have long been a favorite among photographers due to their versatility, image quality, and manual control over settings. Whether you're a beginner looking to unlock the full potential of your SLR camera, or an experienced photographer aiming to refine your skills, this guide will help you through the fundamentals of using an SLR camera and getting the best out of its settings. Let's look at the components you'll need to familiarize yourself with. To maximize your SLR camera's potential, you must first understand its essential components. The lens is a critical element that determines the quality and characteristics of your photographs. SLR cameras typically have interchangeable lenses, allowing you to choose the right one for your specific needs. The mirror inside the camera reflects the image coming through the lens up into the optical viewfinder. The prism redirects the image so you can see it through the viewfinder. The shutter controls the duration of time that light is allowed to hit the camera's sensor or film. It plays a crucial role in exposure control. The sensor, for digital SLRs, or film, the traditional SLRs, records the image formed by the lens. The optical viewfinder allows you to compose your shot by showing you exactly what the lens sees. The mode dial lets you choose various shooting modes, such as manual, aperture priority, shutter priority, and program, among others. Before delving into advanced settings, familiarize yourself with the following basic camera controls. The shutter release button, Pressing this button captures a photograph. The halfway press of the button often initiates autofocus and metering. The mode dial, select your desired shooting mode, depending on your level of control in the situation. The aperture ring, some lenses have an aperture ring that allows manual control over the aperture setting. The ISO button, adjust the sensitivity of your camera sensor or film. Higher ISO settings are useful in low light conditions but may introduce noise. The exposure compensation button, this allows you to manually adjust the exposure up or down when using semi-automatic or, or automatic modes. The focus ring, if your lens has a manual focus option, this ring controls the focus manually. So, let's take a look at how we can master those camera settings. The aperture setting controls the size of the lens opening and affects the amount of light entering the camera. It also determines the depth of field in your images, influencing the background blur and the sharpness of your subject. Lower F numbers create a wider aperture, allowing more light and producing a shallower depth of field. This is great for portraits, where you want the subject to stand out against a blurred background. Higher F numbers result in a narrower aperture, reducing the amount of light and increasing the depth of field. This is ideal for landscapes, where you want everything in focus. Shutter speed determines the length of time the camera's sensor or film is exposed to light. It affects motion capture and can be used creatively to freeze action or create motion blur. Fast shutter speeds freeze fast-moving subjects like sports or wildlife. Slow shutter speeds create motion blur, useful for capturing flowing water or light trails in night photography. To avoid camera shake, use a tripod or increase the ISO when using slow shutter speeds. ISO measures the sensitivity of your camera's sensor to light. Higher ISO settings allow you to shoot in low light conditions, but may introduce digital noise, grain, into your images. Use a low ISO, maybe 100 or 200, in well lit situations to achieve the cleanest and sharpest images. Increase the ISO, perhaps 800 or higher, when shooting in low light, but be cautious not to raise it too high, as it can degrade image quality. 
White balance adjusts the color temperature of your images to make them appear more natural under different lighting conditions. Common white balance settings include daylight, cloudy, shade, tungsten, and fluorescent. Use auto white balance, AWB, in most situations for convenience, but be ready to adjust it manually when necessary. Custom white balance allows you to set it based on the specific lighting conditions you're in, ensuring accurate color representation. Metering modes determine how the camera evaluates the light in the scene to calculate the exposure settings, shutter speed and aperture. Common metering modes include Evaluative metering, where the camera considers the entire frame when determining exposure, center-weighted metering where it prioritizes the center of the frame for exposure calculation, and spot metering, here, the camera meters a small spot at the center of the frame, for precise exposure control. Choose the metering mode that best suits your subject and scene. Evaluative metering is often suitable for general use, but you may need to switch to other modes for specific situations. Let's see how to start mastering camera modes. Manual mode gives you full control over aperture, shutter speed, and ISO settings. It's ideal for situations where you want precise control over exposure. Set the aperture and shutter speed based on your creative vision. Use the camera's light meter to ensure correct exposure. Adjust settings until the meter is at the center or your desired exposure level. In aperture priority mode, you set the aperture and the camera automatically selects the appropriate shutter speed for correct exposure. Use this mode when you want to control depth of field. Set a wide aperture for a blurred background or a narrow aperture for a sharp foreground and background. Shutter priority mode allows you to choose the shutter speed while the camera adjusts the aperture for correct exposure. Use this mode to control motion. Select a fast shutter speed to freeze action or a slow shutter speed for creative motion blur. Program mode automatically sets both aperture and shutter speed, but it allows you to make adjustments within a certain range. It's a semi-automatic mode suitable for when you want some creative control but don't need to set every detail manually. Many SLR cameras offer scene modes for specific shooting situations, such as portrait, landscape, night, sports, and more. These modes optimize settings for the chosen scene, making them suitable for beginners or quick shooting situations. Experiment with these modes to understand how the camera adjusts settings for different scenarios. Here are some advanced camera techniques. Controlling depth of field is crucial for achieving various creative effects. Here are some tips. Use a wide aperture for a shallow depth of field, ideal for portraits and macro photography. For landscapes or architecture, choose a narrow aperture to achieve maximum depth of field. Combine aperture and focus distance to isolate your subject against a blurred background. Composition plays a significant role in photography. Some basic principles to consider include Rule of thirds Divide the frame into thirds horizontally and vertically, placing key elements at the intersections of these lines. Leading lines Use lines within the frame to guide the viewer's eye toward your subject. Framing Frame your subject with elements in the scene, like archways, windows, or foliage. Symmetry and balance, experiment with symmetry for a pleasing and balanced composition. Long exposure photography involves using slow shutter speeds to capture movement or create dramatic effects. Here are a few techniques. Use a tripod to keep the camera steady during long exposures. Shoot waterfalls or rivers to capture silky smooth water. Experiment with light painting by moving a light source during a long exposure. To excel in low light conditions, follow these tips. Use a tripod to minimize camera shake. Increase the ISO to capture more light, but be mindful of noise. 
Experiment with wide apertures for creative blurred effects. Photographic filters can enhance your images in various ways. Polarizing filters reduce glare and enhance colors in outdoor scenes. Neutral density, ND filters allow for longer exposures in bright conditions. Graduated ND filters balance exposure in high contrast scenes like sunsets. Mastering an SLR camera and its settings is a rewarding journey that can lead to stunning photographs. Understanding your camera's components, basic controls, and various modes is essential. However, practice and experimentation are equally crucial. Don't hesitate to try different settings, techniques, and compositions to develop your unique style and capture extraordinary images. With time and dedication, you'll unlock the full potential of your SLR camera and create photos that truly reflect your artistic vision. Thanks for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to the Wild Think page.